Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've got a bit of a flip through for you um, today of my Mary Poppins um, Traveller's Notebook. I've used a pocket page notebook from the stamp stock for this and I've allowed space in the front for um, my childhood memories and memories from when the kids were younger and I've just put my Mary Poppins 2018 um, festival photos in there. I just blended the inks on the cover to create like a, a sunset and then I used the um, London Skyline Cityscape die cut from the kit from the Scrapping Fun Kits kit on the bottom and then I just die cut a Mary Poppins for myself to be my cover and I counted through how many pages I think I'm going to need for my earlier memories and allowed an extra one and I sort of did things out of order I wasn't sure what exactly I wanted to do with these and I knew this one I wanted it to be like a a messy background so I didn't do this one immediately because whenever I was using ink I was mopping up the leftovers on this page but the mistake I made was I started here and I glued down a photo so the very first time I added ink and I hit it with a heat gun I warped my photos so <laughs> do your messy stuff before you stick your photos in <laughs> that's my handy hint so I'll just show you what I did do. So these were the last pages I did and I was, you know, having quite a creative block by then, but I still played and and had fun and just created. So this one's really simple. It's just a sheet of paper from the Kaiser Craft. Where is it? Um, I will have to, I'll put the links in the blog post, okay? So yeah, so this is from one particular range and then this is from Magnolia Lane, which is the very old one, the sticker sheet. And then this one's a mix of some case of craft paper. Well, it's the back of this sheet. And then I some of the printables that I printed out. And then I've got some of the collectibles from wandering ivy and the stickers from magnolia lane and one of the teacups from scrapping fun kits um august kit just threw it all together and it came together i was happy with that so when you go to um, the bank building which is where pl travers was um, born there is a statue of mary poppins outside that is um, a true to life of what um, was the average height for women um, in the time period when P.L. Travers was born from memory, I think it was. And behind it, there's an info sign about the story trail. And there used to be a cafe called Spoonful of Sugar in the building. But now that the council's bought it and they're redoing it, the Spoonful of Sugar's moved to another historic building just down the road. So I really wanted to put a Spoonful of Sugar there just to prompt that memory for me of going to that when it was there and then across the road we have this project called the Maryborough mural project where they've uh, there's over 30 murals around the town that have been painted to do with various historic significant things in the town and this is the Mary Poppins one which is across the road so I took a photo of that cropped it down I've just used a die cut from the Scrapping Fun Kits August kit and a variety of letters. One is from, so the green are from this Bella Boulevard sheet. Very old lettering, I'm assuming, because I got them at a shop when it was closing down. And these, then I've used the blue and the red from this one from Lily B Design, um, just to say Maribara Mural Project. And then these were the first pages I did, these four. Um, so I've used the kite, some of the kite paper from the Scrapping Fun Kits August kit and my leftover lace from, um, I used this lace in my white with one August um, layout, which I'll put a link to in the description. Um, so that's my leftovers. And then I've just pulled in some stickers from... Hazel Crafts 
Rose Avenue here just to create a cluster and I typed up my journaling, printed it on some 160 GSM paper and I've coloured it with Distress Ink Walnut Stain to give it an aged look. This one I've sort of created a floating page in the pocket page where I've just done like a mini. So on this side I've got my daughter and I eating the ice cream and another sticker from that Rose Avenue. This is where she was buying the ice cream. And then on the back, she took this photo of, of the town crier letting off the time cannon. Um, so that, um, yeah, because I thought it was cute. And I thought this worked well using the back of that cardstock for that one. So if you don't know, well, you probably don't if you haven't been to Maribor, we have a time cannon. It gets let off at special events and on market day on Thursdays at one o'clock. Um, on this day, it was not one o'clock. I think this was about 11, actually. It might have been 10. I can't remember. And, yeah, so it's a big bang. You all know what time it is. Um, and we have a town crier who's in full costume, and we have a lot of people who do stuff in costume. We have a lady who, who's, um, who dresses up as Mary and does tours. She dresses up in, as, uh, in other period costumes too, and we have other people in period costumes, and you can do a walking tour with them in costume, which is really fun, and they're very knowledgeable. So um, I spotted this girl in this beautiful costume and I just had to take a photo I asked permission it's the only time I remembered <laughs> um, and for it I really wanted a parasol like a lacy parasol so I came up with this idea which I did film and I will try and get edited but I might not so I just cut I just folded a doily in half so that I had 16 segments cut it in half and then used the craft glue to glue the two halves on the back to a toothpick and then re refolded it all like so and then when I stuck it down I, I put the glue on the inside before sticking it down and push them down and then I stuck it down with the craft glue again on the layout. I also used the craft glue to stick a bit of vintage doily down which is here. It was just a random doily that I found at the op shop and I just cut a segment off um, because it, I felt it pulled your attention to her dress. I've got the little hem carpet bag charm from the Scrapping Fun Kits August kit. And again, I um, coloured my journaling. And then the rest of this is all from Kayser Crafts Magnolia Lane, which is a very old one. Now we're getting into the ones where I forgot to ask permission. They're either photos I've taken and I forgot to ask permission, or they're photos I've asked permission to get a copy of and haven't heard back yet so um, but I really needed to get the memories down so just for me I was um, it's like it's just for me <laughs> anyway so um, this is all about so I've used this page as sort of the start into some of the beautiful costumes we saw that we absolutely loved um, and I just had to record them so there was this lovely lady who was doing the feed the birds um, costume lovely elderly lady she she was very elderly I, I think she might have been in her 90s so it was lovely there was a lot of elderly people in costume which was really great and this was a mum and her her munchkin um, who were both dressed as Mary and they traveled five hours to attend and they were lovely had a lovely chat with them and I've just used um, so this one's wandering ivy this one I think is Magnolia Lane again and yeah just the die cut and I just cut a little bit of one of the flower die cuts trimmed it down to just add a bit because I got some ink on there and I needed to hide it um, I've also got some layers from the other case of craft range that I can't think of what it's called and I can't find the name on my scraps <laughs> so I will put it in the blog post and then over here, these were some more costumers. These were some elderly ladies that were just dressed as um, just in that period. And um, some teenagers dressed in stuff from that period. Used a mix of ranges here, the Wandering Ivy and Magnolia Lane. And then I've used the spoon and the kite from the Scrapping Fun Kits August Kits Cut Apart and a teacup. And this lady was in... Um, 
the same sort of costume as this one. Um, much older lady, beautiful costume. And so I've just used some of the bits that I've downloaded and printed to create just a strip of, of paper and then some like a, a circle tag and this bow and this clock just to build a, a cluster. So I'm starting to get the need to be more flat. <laughs> um, this is the kite that I made. So I just cut a diamond of paper by folding it in half, cutting a triangle, cutting a triangle, and then yeah, creating creases for where your, your poles are. And then I hand cut just some little bows from scraps. And then this, um, my friend Shay gave me a big bag of twine. So I used this American Crafts twine and the craft glue to, which I put the craft glue down in a swirl, in a wiggly, put the twine down, stuck the kite, stuck the bows by just adding a drop of the craft glue over that. Um, this one is the, so they have a grand parade. So you'll see here, I've got the sign. I've taken a photo of the sign of the various events. So you've got grand parade at 12, nanny race at one, chimney sweep at two. So I've got some photos of people doing the grand parade. So anyone in costume gets to do this parade, which is awesome. And I've just used two of the bits that I printed and a tag from Wandering Ivory to decorate it. And I think this paper, background paper, is from Magnolia Lane. And this was a journaling card I printed and I've put my photo over it so it's like a frame. Um, this was the nanny race. Um, so I've used the Wandering Ivy because um, in both photos there were people in blue but there was also some red so I've pulled in a bit of red with a paper scrap here and then the, the bits that I printed. Chimney Sweet Race so I printed this um, quote card, mini, mini miniaturized it, it's meant to be like a big one and this is a hat from the printables that I did and use some wandering ivory for the background and I've got the carousel horse and the clock from the scrapping fun kits August kit cut apart a teacup from it wandering ivy for the background and then just a label that I printed and then oh man how cute is that penny farthing chipboard from memory maze that is in the August kit from Scrapping Fun Kits. Absolutely love it. So I've just used my scrap of my kite paper, the chipboard, and then some bits from Wandering Ivy, something that I printed, a couple of cut aparts that I printed and stuff, stuff like that. And here is my last page. This I was quite stuck on. So I tried putting some inks down. It didn't work. They just, I don't know why the colors aren't showing. And then I just added this strip of washi that is from the September kit from Scrapping Fun Kits and a die cut of Mary. And I printed a quote card and I've cut out the little cityscape that was on it and the quote and called it done. So that is my 2018 Mary Poppins Festival memories. I'm really happy with it turned out how it turned out. I hope you enjoy this video and it inspires you to craft too. Thank you for watching.